Are you guys ready? We've got a little bit of time left on my resin. I've got some chameleons left over. I got to use them. So hang on. I've got some really pretty chameleons left over that I've got to use up because this would be just awful if I didn't. So I'm going to kind of branch off what I did before on another video um, and do it for this one. So not sure if it'll work, but I'm going to give it a go. I may have to do, oh, look at all that. That is just pretty. You know what, I'm gonna leave a little bit in the cup and see if I can, if I need to use that, that's what I'm getting at. Oh, this is like honey coming out right now. It is sticky, sticky, sticky. So sticky. All right, so what I did in a previous video is I used a silicone brush to apply this stuff onto black. And <laughs> I sure hope it comes out okay because man, it looked awesome in the tray. So really super stoked about that. And I got these saws that, let me start over again, <laughs> sorry. Um, people who turn uh, tumblers and apply resin on them will commonly use these silicone brushes. And I thought, you know, that might work in this case. So I'm gonna put a death grip on this tray because like I said, sticky, sticky, you know what? Hold on, let me use my common sense here. I always say when you add resin, heat it up. Help get rid of bubbles, but in this case, it'll also help it flow a little better. Let's see what we can do. We're just going to play because we can. I might kill this brush because of how much I'm pushing. You see how flat it's getting? So even if I don't get it for full coverage, this is gonna make a dynamite first coat. Let me heat that up again, see if I can get it to move around some more. Getting it to the edge, yay! All right. I'm gonna apply certain colors now. This is like, I was thinking it was like honey, but no, I think this is more like cold molasses. Oh my gosh. It's so sticky. Oh, jeez. All right. Let me just get this out of the cup and then we'll heat this up and get it moving. I am literally pushing it. here all 
It was probably brush abuse. <laughs> Now, uh, this is resin. I'm using our coat um, by Stone Coat Countertops, and it usually has a working time of about two hours. Uh, I haven't be been able to get it to more than that. However, today, because I did a video live, I had it in the cup for a while. And so when you do that, it can build its heat upon itself and get hot if it's just sitting there. So what ends up happening is, is you get a shorter working time. So normally this wouldn't be too much of an issue, but today, yep, issue, but that's okay. I just am determined to use it all up because good stuff. All right, let me heat that up, see if I can get that. I think get full coverage, that would be dynamite. It's close. I like this idea of painting the colors on. I may have to play with this some more. I don't want to tilt it because I want it to have that painter, painterly look. That's a phrase. It's a phrase right now. I'm giving it a phrase. I can get it up to the edge. It may move and self-level. If not, I'm definitely doing a flood coat on this guy. Because my trays, I'm assuming people might use them for food. And so the last coat that's on there is always clear. So I know we'll have full coverage, for sure. <laughs> Very tarry. Like it's so thick, I don't, I don't even worry about the brush dripping over my floor. All right, now it's moving a little bit more. Yay. This does kind of look, work like a brush. Right. Kind of pushing it to the edges right now. And I think I am good on coverage. All right. One last heat up, and then I'm going to move my brush over the top surface overall to get a good brush kind of look. Hopefully it'll stay. I'm not sure.
So as I'm moving over around in my studio, getting the heat gun and supplies and stuff to do this work on this particular tray, I can see the angle of this chameleon from all different angles. And it's just, oh, this stuff's pretty. Okay, I think that might do it. I'm gonna hit with a torch real quick. Get rid of some bubbles. Okay, enough of that. All right, let me bring you in for a close-up if I can. And let me see if I can move you around. some shifting happening yeah okay so those hard lines might end up softening out I don't know right, I'm gonna zoom in Boom. see the almost the scratchy light lines I'll have to see what happens there Very interesting. All right. I think this guy needs to go up and get cured up. Later. Out in the sun too, because sparkles. Oh, let me zoom out. Sorry, I still zoomed in. So this one cured up nicely. I almost got a full coat. There's only a couple little spots that are a little on the thin side, but playing on a flood coat anyway. But a nice subtle bit of the chameleons everywhere. And you can still see the three different colors I used. But they're a little bit more transparent because they're spread thin. But I'm okay with that because you still see the wood coming through it and I don't know it's just a little bit different that it adds a lot of zest to this let me see if I can zoom in there we go and we still have the um brush lines in there but they've softened out a little bit but enough that I still really really super like it let's see come on focus it's having a hard time finding a point to focus on Super stoked. All right, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified. Next time I put a video up. See y'all.